right, guys, get out your wallets. Uh. Uh. This right here is the coolest thing in my camera kit. This goes with me everywhere. This is just a simple rubber stamp. I mean, I guess maybe this only works if you have a YouTube channel and someone's gonna remember your name. Gotcha, bro. I didn't even ask for that. Oh my God. This is actually a lighter kit. I normally travel with so much gear, you know, cause I'm from the television world. We just, you know, producers want you to travel with everything. So the fact that I got my entire production kit inside this bag. I mean, this is a serious workout. They gave this to me at Sony Camera Camp. I did not pay for it. And to be honest with you, I actually didn't like it when I first got it. I don't like the color. I didn't really like the design. I kind of don't like the roll top thing. I don't know how it happened, but it grew on me and now I love it. <laughs> the coolest thing about this bag is the stash -a dash This is really convenient for like passports and money. That way you don't get pickpocketed. You know, it's on the inside of your back. So it's going to be harder for thieves to grab at it when you're like walking around. This goes with me everywhere. I did a whole episode on this. I don't know. Have you guys seen that one? Make your own media pass. You definitely should consider making your own media badge. You can get a discount on airlines. You'll get a flat rate fee of $50 per bag, regardless of the weight. I actually put all of my travel information right on the back there. So I have like my known traveler number, United Airlines, Hertz, all of those. That way I don't have to go looking for it. On the other side, we got the exterior pocket, which is super helpful. Sanitary wipes. I'm normally not a germaphobe, but like nowadays you just have to sanitize everything. So great recommendation from Gerald and Dunn. He wipes down everything. And so I definitely stole this from him. So the main thing I liked about this bag is the side pocket here. This is perfect for like water bottles and such, but I actually use it for like tripod legs. In this case, the Ronin SC, the baby brother to the Ronin S. You know, it's a really versatile gimbal. It's got enough power plus is the locking function. So you can lock it straight up. That way it's not rattling around, not hitting anything. It's so tiny. It's just like significantly smaller than the Ronin S. So what else? A couple other exterior pockets on this. Insta360, I know it's not even the latest one. I actually love this one because of the size. Uh, it's H.264 encoding. So the image is not as good as H.265, but it's pretty damn powerful. And this is my go-to BTS camera. You can sync it to your phone and then you have your Insta stories ready to go. My one complaint is the battery life is terrible. So make sure to pick up spares. What else is in here? Ooh, seriously, I'm, I'm, I'm being serious right now. If I made these guys, would you order one? You want one? I don't know. I feel like it's, this is so necessary. If you travel a lot, you got to get some sleep. I'll leave a link down below. You guys can, I'll pre-order them if there's that much interest. This is, this is super necessary right now. Now there's a lot of speculation on if these really work for the virus. Um, the jury's still out, but this is an N99. So it will filter out 99% of the particulate matter. It won't work for liquids. What I like about these, you can change the filters. The filters are good for up to eight hours. So this comes with like eight filters, I believe in the pack. Plus you just look cool. You got a freaking mask on. I mean, now we have the main pocket. 2017 MacBook Pro Command Center. As you can see, I have like two solid state SSDs. This one has all my project files on there. And this one has all of my footage. Four terabyte SSD just offloads everything so quick. SD card reader, micro SD, you have USB-A, USB-C ports, and then you even have a little HDMI. So super handy. Uh, I put Velcro on it so I could just stick it right on the bag. But also, you know, these ports in the MacBook Pro 17 are like, they're always like a little bit loose. I can never get a good contact to stay. It's always disconnecting. I just put a little piece of Velcro right over the top. Totally locked in. Command center. This is a great little hack. When you're in the airplane powering your laptop, you notice how like these things always, like you plug it in and it just never, it never hangs in there. It just always drops off. So if you take your DJI drone charger and you disconnect the little dual prong system here, this thing pops off. You can plug it right in there and then you can just plug this right into that socket. And if you don't have a drone, you can score one of these figure eight cables just on Amazon, they're a few bucks. 
this is pretty nice removable pouch. Um, I know a lot of these bags these days have this. I've never used the removable pouch part, but it's nice if I need an extra bag, I guess. No surprise here, Mavic Pro 2. And we have, of course, the Polar Pro ND filter. I have the ND4. I, this basically just lives on here. I never take it off. This is not news to anybody. You guys know how amazing this drone is. I mean, for the size, portability, power, you can't get better than this. You know, camera wise, I'm shooting on the Blackmagic 4K. This is such, this is probably the best camera bang for buck right now, $1,300. You guys know already how much I love the raw in here. For any of my creative shoots, I'm gonna wanna shoot with this, so it's definitely my go-to. You may not think it's a low light camera, but coupled with the speed booster, you can get some incredible low light shots. This footage I licensed to Blackmagic, you can see it on their website. You can see the crazy low light that's possible with this camera, despite it being a micro four thirds, always in the bag. Next up, camera two, gotta have a vlog camera. Can't really vlog on that one, plus this is a great camera camera I can give it to my wife or the second shooter or I can just set it up on a tripod if I need this is the best vlogging camera for the price in my opinion it's got a flip screen with amazing autofocus it shoots 4k has in-body stabilization uses the large battery so battery life is stellar it's great in low light and it shoots 120p slow-mo better than it should equipped with you know pretty fast lens you can get some really dope shots you know I just got this and I'm really really impressed uh, the Rode NTG mic, super powerful, super easy. They definitely redesigned the old VideoMic Pros. This is like a solid aluminum construction, so it's like crush proof, professional side rejection, as well as ambient sound. The only thing I do wish is that it fit a little bit more snug on the hot shoe, I think. I think you gotta like have a tool to crank it down. That's my only complaint. But what I love about it is you can control the gain right on the top. You also have high pass settings here. So you guys wanna see what this sounds like? How is the audio? Pretty good? How is it now? I was actually pretty impressed because it sounded really good even on an airplane. All right, so this is a good test. Sorry, this is a good test to see side rejection. The mic is pointed right at my mouth, but we're also right above the wing and the engine. So does the audio sound good? This is probably the coolest thing. Sony's noise canceling headphones. What's really dope is obviously these pack down to a really small size. In this case, pretty flat design, but it also has cables. It also has like, you know, these double prongs. So if you're like flying in one of those older airplanes, you need to tap in, you can still do that, but you can Bluetooth connect to your phone or your PC. These are great for editing. Um, I'm a little bit of an audiophile. I love the Mies Classics 99 for headphones for editing. These are like the best on the market, hands down, but I don't always wanna travel with them. These are now my go-to headphones for traveling. Plus the, it just, it kind of works with the whole murdered out thing too. Forgive me and I will finish what you started. This is how I travel. How do you guys travel? All right, next we have Rode Wireless Go system. These are really impressive. So these aren't as good as my Sennheiser RF, but they're significantly smaller. You don't have to worry about pairing. It's like you turn them on and they're good to go. Plus they slide right in the hot shoe of the camera. Not that camera. I mean, you're good to go. It's crazy. So I did test these out in Bali and the audio is pretty good actually, given how busy it was. Hello, does anyone here speak English? Yeah? Yeah? I'm just kidding. <laughs> We're gonna come back tomorrow. Yeah. I need her. All right. How did the audio work on a busy street? But it did drop out a few times, so they're not nearly as reliable as, you know, the RF ones. But for 200 bucks, if you need to just quickly throw this on somebody and get, you know, an additional safety track, you're done. This is great. And they even come with like wind guards. You can of course add your own microphone to the mix as well. So nice little kit. Hold fast neck strap. Super convenient. It's got the clips that just go right onto the camera. Plus it just goes so well with denim, right? Guys, I gotta be honest with you. I'm a, it's a little girly of me. I gotta make up bags. This is like one of those little hacks. I used to use the bigger ones. Now I use a smaller one. Great for screws, sensor or lens cleaner. I keep my tools in here, extra cables. If I need a spare HDMI cable. 
This is probably overkill, but this is the battery bank that I will travel with. So this is a 50,000 milliamp battery bank. This is what I'll use if I'm on a really long flight on a cheap airline and it's possible that they don't have power. It has a 20 volt out, which is enough to power a MacBook Pro about six to seven hours when I'm full speed, full editing, processor heavy, burning through all that juice. Plus, if it's in your bag, you can always charge your cameras and all your gear while you're on the move. So I can charge the mic because it's got 12 volt out. I can even power the Blackmagic 4K if I wanted to, or I can charge those batteries while they're in the camera. So a lot of utility here. It is heavy. I don't take it on every flight, but if I'm going to a remote destination and I need power, this will definitely get me through a whole day. I feel like every content creator has these. You know, this is the Aperture MC. Super tiny, super powerful, very versatile. You know, a nice little color pop, rim light. It's magnetic. This is actually a really dope find. It's a 5G wireless video transmitter, and then you can wirelessly monitor using your iPhone. You can record onto your phone through the app, and then you can upload it instantly to Instagram, so you get that nice, high-quality image. <laughs> Talk some lenses. This is my go-to low-light lens. You guys know how much I love low-light. I am so impressed. SLR Magic. This is a T1.2, so it's very good in low-light. Also really good for, like, getting that nice creamy bokeh. It is a manual lens. It's got the gears on there, which I personally like, but if you want an autofocus lens, this is not gonna be for you. It's pretty damn sharp. When you open it all the way up to T1.2, you do get like some halo artifacts and it's also a little soft. But other than that, this is a solid lens. It's a great 50 millimeter and it's great for filming low light stuff. And of course, Battis 85 millimeter 1.8. This goes with me everywhere. This is my B-roll lens. It's not as fast as the G Master 1.4, but given its size and weight comparison, um, like this is all, it feels like a whole half a pound heavier. I think that this is the better choice, plus fits onto gimbals a little bit easier, whereas the G Master kind of rubs. So check this out. Two of the most powerful stimulants for creativity are traveling and learning things you have no business learning. This episode is sponsored by Skillshare. See, because of neuroplasticity, you can trick your brain into being more creative by learning something completely out of your comfort zones. Like check out Temi Coker's mind-bending tutorials on digital poster design. Even on the Skillshare app, I can just binge all of these high-end tutorials in between Joe Rogan podcasts on an 11-hour flight to Tokyo. I can learn product design and packaging. What would I possibly use that for? Well, Josh, with this 11-part, one-hour tutorial, you can learn the fundamentals of package design, especially for your 1980s overlay, so you can make more money on your digital assets online. Here, here. See all these crazy ideas? Otis, how much more time do I got? You have nine seconds left. Skillshare, Skillshare. For the price of a beer at the airport, you guys can get a ton of new ideas. Skillshare is giving away two free months of unlimited access to the first 500 people who click the link below, so definitely don't wait. Get out of here. If you guys do live shoots or broadcasts or like multiple camera shoots, pain in the ass to sync multiple cameras with multiple clips, particularly if the audio doesn't match up and you can't use a program like Pluralize or Premiere Pro synchronization. This company makes it really, really easy. The Tentacle Sync, this is the timecode lockbox. These are Bluetooth enabled, so you basically sync them on your phone and then you just plug each one into whatever camera you want and it will embed the time code into the camera's audio track. And then later you just take it and run it through the software and it'll automatically take the good audio and burn it into the footage for you. So it'll do a complete pass through. You know, you're shooting a wedding, you have multiple cameras, you're hitting stop, start multiple times and you don't want to have to sync each one. So this stays in the audio kit. Holy crap, this is seriously super bright. Army Tech Barracuda flashlight. This is an, this is like not meant for filmmaking, um, but I use it for filmmaking. So if I need an extra bounce, I can just shine it off a wall and get an extra pop of light. Or I can set it behind me and maybe clamp it to something. Nice edge light. So my buddy Tommy Calloway did a great episode on this. If you want to see just how powerful this flashlight is. It's really not that easy to show you how bright this thing actually is just by shining it on things. 
This uh, electrical tower is a thousand feet away from my house, lighting it up no problem at night. Here's a street behind my house, and now it's lit up. This thing is crazy, crazy bright. It uses 18650 batteries, which are like these universal batteries. So that's kind of cool because if you, you know, have the gimbal like the Jin Crane, it's the same battery. So you use the same charge or that kind of thing. I don't travel with the battery in there. This gets turned on while it's in my bag. It will burn a hole through my bag and start a fire. All right, so we are down to the last item in the bag. Secret compartment down at the bottom. What do you guys honestly think it is? What possibly would I keep in a secret compartment in the bottom of this bag? <laughs> that's right always have spares i'm just i'm just kidding that's not really what's in there it's not this is super clutch fits right in the bottom Woo. all right that's it now i gotta pack it all up i'm doing this hangout retreat thing where we go to some place, we hang out for a week. It's a lot of one-on-one -on -one time. We'll go shoot some creative projects together. Everything's taken care of, your transportation, food, accommodations, all that. It's $2,000 to $2,500, depending on the package, and it doesn't include air travel. This is kind of a feeler thing right now, so I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna do this. If you guys are interested, let me know. Two free months, Skillshare. Make sure you use the link down below to sign up. Send Skillshare a message. Tell them you wanna get smart and creative with Make Art Now. Yeah, I could just go to sleep right now. This is, this is something. See you later.